Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 917. My name is Christine and on today's episode, we have a demo of the We Are Memory Keepers Flower Punch Board. Hey, my name is Tavner Carey. I'm the Product Development Director at We Are Memory Keepers and I'm here to demo our brand new Flower Punch Board. So this punch board can create flowers in seven different sizes, anywhere from a three inch diameter on up to a nine inch diameter. So today we're going to make a small flower we're going to trim our paper down to a 2 and 5 eighths by 12 inch measurement. We also have a centimeter chart for those people who use the metric system. We've cut our paper down. We're inserting it into the punch, lining it up with this vertical start line. We're going to punch, and then we're going to score this diagonal line right here. After that, we're going to shift it over, lining it up with our small guide because we're creating this small flower. And we're going to repeat the process, punching, scoring our diagonal line and also scoring our vertical line. From here on out we're just going to shift it over and we're going to keep lining up our most recent vertical score line that we've made with our small guide. And we're just going to repeat this process to the end of our paper. So punching, scoring, and lining it up. We can create flowers that are flat and are perfect for scrapbooking and card making. We can also create flowers that are very dimensional and are ideal for more of your home decor or party type projects. And one more. Okay, now that we have everything di uh, punched and scored, we're going to go ahead and fold up our flower. So we're just going to fold it over itself in an accordion style fold. Those diagonal score lines are actually going to guide us so that we're folding it in a perfect circle. Just like that. So there we have our round, perfectly round, flat flower. However, I want to make it more dimensional, so I'm actually going to cut off a petal. The more petals I cut off, the more dimensional it will be. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to apply just a little bit of adhesive onto this back tab right here. And then you can see it's going to overlap perfectly. And there we have our more dimensional flower. We can take our petal curler, which comes with the board, and we can just quickly curl our petals, give it even more dimension. The great thing about this board is it does create multiple sizes, so we can create smaller flowers or larger flowers. We can stack them together um, and create something really unique. And then we can actually take our coordinating flower stem kit. This is going to make it so we can take this and easily add a stem to it. So we're just going to take a few little pieces here. We're going to insert this through this side, and we're going to insert this one the other way. And then we're just going to take this and screw it on. This is going to clamp that paper in there and keep it nice and secure so it doesn't fall out. Then we're going to take our stem. It's a wire stem. It has a nice, natural, organic look. And we're just going to insert that in just like that. We can also take our enamel shapes that we sell in a variety of colors and we can apply one right to the center just so we can customize it to match our paper. As a final touch, we can take any square piece of paper. We're just going to insert it into the back side of the punch, punching two opposite corners and scoring down the middle. We're going to create a nice little leaf that we can add onto our flower. The stem kit also comes with wire and adhesive so that we can easily apply our leaves. And that easily we've created a beautiful flower. Well that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, Mara Johnson is telling us all about the Splash of Color silks. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.